from gardeners who depend on ropes to some members of the younger generation who also depend on ropes, but in a rather different way. No, it's not a public hanging, but the opening of Cadet Week at Burnham on Crouch. For this particular race, the Royal Corinthian Yacht Club Trophy, there are no less than 168 entries. The crews, ranging in age from 17 down to 9, have to stick closely to the rules, including the wearing of officially approved life jackets. The boats are all of the same specification laid down for the International Cadet class and are fitted with airbags or buoyancy tanks which will prevent the boat sinking even when waterlogged and carrying a weight of four and a half hundred weights. Far more than any two billy bunters bulging with tuck shop loot. The final preparations are complete. The hulls have been polished to give extra speed and every boat is trimmed to give its maximum performance. For these races are often won by as little as a length or two over distances of as much as nine miles. The keenness of these young sailors is phenomenal. When Cadet Week started in 1950, there were only 25 entries. Now, not only has it increased to 168, but spread to include entrants from France, Belgium, Holland and West Germany, as well as this country. The start is imminent, and this is one of the competitors' most difficult tasks, to keep close to the starting line without being blown across it and having to return and make a fresh start, usually well behind the main fleet. The race starts literally with a bang, and the boats bowl along gracefully. Fortunately, all these youngsters are experts, and we are spared the undignified amateur blunders that bring tears to the true sailor's eye, like a careless hand on the tiller, followed by a crack on the head by a swinging boom, all of which transforms a graceful, gull-like craft into an ungainly flapping pelican. Many of the boats, incidentally, although built to the exact class dimensions, have been made by the youngsters themselves. The man behind the idea of encouraging these young sailors, Group Captain Haylock here, now sees his dream of international youth races come true. Rounding the boy, technically known as jibing, requires split-second timing and good teamwork, unless valuable seconds are to be lost. The vast increase in the number of these boats is directly attributable to a wartime innovation, the development of waterproof resin-bonded plywood. The ultimate object of encouraging these youngsters is to create a pool of crews and helmsmen for future Olympic Games. The organization behind this apparently straightforward business is in fact exceedingly complex. The sailing committee consists of a race officer, timekeepers, gunners, signalers and a scorer. Other officials involved are buoyancy inspectors, checkers and a launching squad and, formidable title, a protest committee to deal with alleged offences. With youth like this at the helm, we need have few doubts about our future in a great international sport. <laughs>